the first time I pulled a pen, it was like magic. I mean, I, I didn't know how everything really worked. I started doing other things a little bit bigger. Gradually, my work grew bigger and bigger. You will see the biggest blade there. It's called Composition Without Arabic Calligraphy. So that's how I came into um, printmaking and expanded it when I went to America. Sudan, I would say that it's, it's my DNA. I mean, I stayed in America longer than the Sudan, uh, 52 years. Still, I feel it in all my body. And it comes through my fingers. Everything, I can recall it, I can live it while I'm doing it. Black and white, for me, is the classic way. And it's the richest um, medium, the richest color for me in all printmaking. Color is fascinating and kind of like deceiving rather than giving you the actual reality of the object or the subject that you're doing. And it has a, a richness that, that I don't see in color. With black, you can go into the deepest black and the lightest tone in a few seconds. And you get the richness that, and the mystery also carries mystery for me. And um, tonality is the essence of black and white. You have to learn tonality. That's actually how I learned about painting through uh, doing black and white prints. They asked me if uh, I wasn't an artist, what, what would I do? And um, I said music. But then for me, it was like a, a, a miracle or something. I used to listen to him in Sudan. When I came, entered America, I mean, I bought more of his, his albums, and I lived really through his music. And that's what, you know, the result of, you know, dead, tombstone blues. Anything that has blues or, or sadness, I used in the, in 